to vote. And in political literary news, Tennessee Democratic Senator Albert Gore, a potential Clinton running mate and the husband of Tipper Gore, who with some fellow Washington wives launched the record stickering craze seven years ago, has turned out a treatise on environmental politics called Earth in the Balance. In a similar vein, Vote for the Earth, a book compiled by a group called the League of Conservation Voters, profiles politicians' voting records and suggests ways in which well-calculated votes can help save energy, preserve ecosystems, and prevent further damage to the Earth's ozone layer. Finally, an organization called the Women's Political Action Group has just published a book called The Women's 1992 Voting Guide, which covers such issues as sexual harassment, pay equity, and women's medical care, as well as the voting records and positions of individual candidates. This book also notes that voting age women outnumber men by 10 million. We're going to pause for some commercial communications right now, but we'll be back with the B-52s and a bizarre new video performance group called the Emergency Broadcast Network. Do stay tuned. <laughs> Available on CD, cassette, and home video. Yeah. MTV's rockumentary is brought to you by Flair Ultra. You can't buy a better baseball card. And by the Diamond Council of America. Is two months' salary too much to spend on something that lasts forever? Somehow. People have gotten the idea the new Toyota Paseo is a wildly exciting, sporty coupe. The Paseo is a practical, sensible car. Okay, so it has some muscle. And a low starting price could be a big turn-on. And sure, you're going to be instantly popular. That's no reason to do something impulsive. Think it over. The all-new Paseo. A very practical car. From Toyota. Something different, sir. Please. Maxell releases a higher performance tape. Maxell, take your music to the max. Some people. It's not mine. Crisp, clean dentine. We'll take care of your breath. The rest is up to you. Hi. Hi. Didn't we see you here yesterday? Journey to the center of the earth. How far underground are we? Why do you he can't explain the experience you get coming into a cavern that you've never seen before? There's no chance of this stuff caving in and pops us and killing us all over. So the name for what you do is... Cave Explorer or Spelunker. You ever been scared down? I've been very scared in a few caves. If you didn't have a light, you lose your sense of direction or something. What is the ultimate in caving? To discover a new cavern. Oh, my God. That's a long way down. Light check. 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 On my check. button. Check. I can't do this. When Jenny cheated on her husband... But you are married to the perfect man. He didn't just leave. Do you love him? He split. <laughs> From director Brian De Palma. I'm not going to let that loving wife of yours sell you down the river. I want to know what you've done with Amy. I don't know where she is. I do. John Lithgow. Raising Kane. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 7th at theaters everywhere. From Vidal Sassoon, Ultra Care. The benefits of a shampoo, conditioner, and finishing rinse in one. The finishing rinse helps seal and protect hair from styling stress. Brilliant. Sassoon Care for salon quality hair. Welcome back to the Day in Rock. Cries of outrage continue to erupt around rap star Ice-T and Cop Killer, the now notorious track on his speed metal album, Body Count. More than 1,000 stores across the country have pulled the album from their racks, and now a sheriff in Lee County, Florida, has asked the state attorney general to file sedition charges against Ice-T's label, Warner Brothers Records. Sedition is a revolt against the government, and Lee County Sheriff John J. McDougal contends that, quote, when you say it's all right to kill a cop, you're inviting insurrection against the government. A Warner Brothers spokesman notes that Cop Killer does not say that it's all right to kill a policeman. And a spokesman for the Florida State Attorney General's office says it's uncertain whether any sort of sedition charge will actually be filed. Back in music news, Good Stuff, a new album by the B-52s, has debuted at number 26 on this week's Billboard chart. We spoke to the band recently about the globally oriented themes of some of the songs on the record and the pressures involved in getting the thing out to the public. 
doing the album was like running the marathon and as soon as you finish you know how they run up with microphones afterwards we had finished the album and as soon as we finished it we had to do single edits and do interviews and think about the video i think there's a lot on this album that represents sort of a striving towards uh, delving into the unconscious and striving towards things that are beyond the borders of this world. B-52s will be launching a U.S. tour next month with auxiliary singer and multi-instrumentalist Julie Cruz on board as part of the eight-piece band. In legal news, the makers of Black Death Vodka are suing officials of the federal government, charging that the company's First Amendment rights were breached when the government withdrew its approval of the brand's name and label. Secretary of the Treasury Nicholas Brady and Stephen Higgins, the director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, are among the defendants named in the suit, which charges that irreparable damage was caused when approvals given to Black Death Vodka in 1989 were abruptly withdrawn after it signed Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash to an endorsement deal, and Surgeon General Antonio Novello charged that the brand was being marketed to underage drinkers. Black Death is asking for a permanent injunction, damages, and court costs. In unrelated news, there's a new guerrilla media group abroad in the land called the Emergency Broadcast Network, which applies some of the cut-up techniques of dance music remixing to video. The group has turned this critique of broadcast reality into a strange and somewhat ominous stage show, and when we caught it at the recent New Music Seminar in New York City, we found spectators reacting with fear, anger, and other exhilarating emotions. Take a look. The Emergency Broadcast Network from Providence, Rhode Island is an alternative video, music, and performance group. Beyond that, though, it's hard to describe exactly what they do. There are certain areas that I'm not going to be able to go into right up front, but I can tell you that our main uh, focus is on remixing uh, existing over-the-air cable broadcast network programming and uh, mixing it down and uh, chop, chop, chopping it up and spitting it back out again. Well, one of the centerpieces of our show is the uh, telepodium, which is a mechanical podium, which we term an entertainment enhancement device. It uh, uses two color television monitors and an array of uh, controlled lighting systems and lasers to just sort of add a little more punch to our public presentation. It's kind of a, a man-machine interface. I mean, I am pretty much become one with this podium device and uh, I am serve as the uh, vocal accompaniment to the videotape. Another of EBN's nifty gizmos is the Emergency Broadcast Vehicle, or EBV, which was featured on last year's Lollapalooza tour and has some unique attachments, such as this rotating satellite dish video projection rig. With the EBV, the EBN can take their message anywhere. But what exactly is their message? Well, as I said before, there are certain areas of our program that I'm not at liberty to discuss. Uh, areas of ideology and uh, motivations, and uh, these are certain sensitive areas that I can't release that kind of information. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. So what do you think of the emergency broadcast network? Pretty good, pretty high tech, good, good statement. They made me really uneasy, got an uneasy feeling watching them. I wanted to kind of go downstairs. It was an uh, incredible uh, audio-visual experience. May God continue to rock our nation. I'd rather like make in fun of conservative political views. What's happening? I am going to die! Emergency Broadcast Network will next manifest itself at a metal show in Mansfield, Massachusetts on August 1st. That about does it for this day in rock. We'll be back on Wednesday night with Sonic Youth, Sun Ra, the Black Crows, and Pearl Jam, and we hope to see you then. Kicking off tonight's video feast, we have the brand spanking new one from NXS. We world premiered it last night. It's called Heaven Sent, and it's off the album called Barcelona Gold. So here it is.